heavy. <laughs> this is how 32 gel polishes look on the surface. Okay, so we got that. We got some gel art polishes. Look at this. Some more gel polishes. Six colors of gel polish. That's that. And uh, more gel polishes. We got 20 gel polishes. We just got a whole bunch of gel polishes, which is honestly my dream. I really want to open up this big boy first. But first, before we unbox everything, let me tell y'all about this sale. So if you didn't know, Prime Day is fastly approaching and I already know you guys are getting your coins ready for that. So the amazing thing about it is you can find all the products that I'm showing you guys in this video on Amazon for Amazon Prime Day. So go check it out. I will have all the links in the description down below. And you can also get an extra 10% off when you use my code at checkout. I had so much fun using these polishes for this video. Beatles is definitely a quality product. Make sure you go check everything out in the description down below. And thank you Beatles for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back into the unboxing. So it says all in one Manny kit. Ooh, when they say full kit, they mean full kit. So it's not just polishes. Look what we got. We got polishes of course, but then over here, if I can get it out with these long nails. <laughs> There is a UV lamp there. Of course, a cord to the UV nail lamp. And what is this over here? Oh, listen, I'm not even gonna have to go through my belongings at all in this video because they provide everything in this little kit. We have a cuticle nipper, some little toe separators. What is that? Not sure what this is, but it probably has something to do with Maybe this. Child, I don't know. Let's keep digging. <laughs> but this is a like a little nail duster. Dust off that nail dust. Then we have some nail files. We got a buffer right here. And then we have a dotting tool, of course. What else is in this bag? And I'm talking about they give you the good stuff. None of that like wooden cuticle pusher, cheap stuff. Like look at that. Look at that cuticle pusher that you get. See. Oh, this is a tweezer, of course. So that's like a little tweezer there, a clipper, a little nail clipper. And that's not even it, we got some more stuff. We got some foil, this is some gold foil. And then we have gloves. I need to start wearing these again for sure, for sure. But these gloves basically protect your skin while you're using your UV nail lamp, your LED nail lamp. And let's see what this is. Oh, probably a top base and mat. Yep, we've been doing this for far too long. Then foundation, AKA your base coat, and then a mat. Oh, they also packed some cuticle oil in here too, which I need because my cuticles are super dry. Oh, they have blooming gel and builder gel. All right, so this one is called Dreamy Town. All right, open her up. Someone, I don't know why. I'm having deja vu for a second, I don't know. But this looks so familiar. Okay, so this is the Dreamy, what is it called? Dreamy Town 20 Colors Gel Polish Kit. So of course we got the top coat and then we have a top matte coat. And then this is the base coat, so the foundation gel. And then we have all of these different colors here. All right, let's set that to the side for later. We got two more boxes. This one is the Superstar. Honestly, Beatles, I, I've been working with Beatles, with Beetle products since I was a beginner. So needless to say, definitely have been a Beatles fan for a minute now. Ooh, we got some bright colors here. Oh, these are gonna be super fun to play with. These all have glitter to it. Oh, look at that. That is nice. All right, so with this one, we have orange, we have purple, blue, two shades of green, and then we have this shade of pink here. And almost, some of these are like almost neon-y. Neon-y, if that's a word. 
Like this one even almost matches my shirt just a little bit, but my shirt is more, way more neon than this orange. <laughs> and then the last box is what looks like liner gels. We have some glitter liners on one end and then on the other end, we have some cute little, like I said, bright summer colors. So y'all can already see we got a ton to choose from. So this video, this little random nail set is gonna be good. Cause Beatles provided, okay? They provided us with more than enough. We're gonna play a little game that I like to call random nails, where I spin a wheel and whatever the wheel decides, that's what kind of nails we have to do. And I'm gonna do this challenge using everything that I got from Beatles. So we're gonna use this spin the wheel app. So I made two wheels. So we're gonna have one wheel to pick the theme and then we're gonna have another wheel to pick the cartoon character that we're going to put on the nails. So for theme, we have Y2K, then we have a trippy nail, Look. Then I have minimal, which is of course a minimalistic look. And then lastly, I just put Halloween. I like doing Halloween sets. So it'll be more of like a spooky nail look. So let's see which one we're getting. Oh, we almost had white okay. But we have trippy, so we'll stick with that. So this wheel is the cartoon wheel. So we got Kid Next Door, Hey Arnold, Lisa Frank, and SpongeBob. Let's see which one we get. Hmm. Hey Arnold. That's gonna be super different. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, we got those on and shaped. Now we can get into this nail design that I don't know where to even start with, <laughs> honestly. Mind you, I haven't even started my nails yet and look at the mess I already have. But that's just what happens anyways. So I was thinking about, I think it's this one that I wanna try, I think. So this is the shimmery one that I was just talking about, but I don't think I like that. I'm really liking this one right here, which is this. We're gonna try one coat. Look how gorgeous that is. It's really the shimmer that kind of sold me on this one. Look at that. That's pretty. Yeah, I think one coat is good. Let's go ahead and cure it. Of course, we got our Beatles UV lamp. Let's go ahead and turn it on and cure. Since I'm doing nail art, I am gonna go ahead and put a thin coat of this matte gel, top coat, down. And this definitely helps keep those lines crisp once I start trying to draw shapes and whatnot. All right, so now that I have the two middle fingers, I think I have an idea. This is the picture that I wanna put on the nail and I think I wanna put it across these two nails right here. This is obviously one of the characters from Hey Arnold. I forgot his name. I wanna base it in a white. Put that down. I'm just gonna create the shape first. I didn't notice it at first when I first was unboxing everything, but the dotting tool, actually comes with a liner brush on the other end. I'm gonna try and use this. I think I want it more towards the side. It's almost like his head shape is almost the shape of a pumpkin if you look at it. It kind of dips down right here for his chin or his mouth or whatever. Don't look like much now, but I'm about to go ahead and fill it in. Okay, now that sort of, in a way, looks like 
his head so we're gonna go with it i think this color is very close to his head so i am going to go in with this and cure next is his hair i think this yellow will be perfect i don't even need to mix them like they're already the perfect shade like that almost matches the picture perfectly well, and all of the colors that i'm using is from the all-in-one mani kit by the way So I'm just gonna base it in white, like I did his head, and it's kind of slanted off on the side. So I'm gonna have it going off on the side, just like that. I love it. And then I'll add the details a little later, but this is gonna. Real quick, I slick forgot about the little pieces that's kind of like flying out from the hair. So let me just add a couple of those. I'm gonna add me a little dot here too. I think that'll be cool. And then at least have one more. Okay. I really want to do the eyes next. It looks like it's kind of like in this corner over here. So let's start right here. Here, I start with the cross and then I just connect the ends. It makes it easier to make a circle. Let me just feel it in. Okay, y'all don't be mad at me, okay? But I really had to do the more detailed work off camera because yeah, these thin lines was not gonna be done right on camera, I already know. So obviously I went on and did that. Y'all see the mouth going. But yeah, we can move on to really the polka dots in the face and the hair and doing the eyes right quick. Just to show you guys, to get the thinner lines, I did have to go in with a different um, detailed liner brush. Um, This is a four millimeter. Let's do the eyes. So the eyes is basically an X. So I am just going to do an X and I'm gonna try my best to keep the lines as thin as possible, just like that. In the picture, the X's are smaller, but hey, what the heck? And look, it already looks so much like the picture. Let's do the little dots. I wonder, should I do like a glittery orange? But I really like this glitter in this orange. I wanna take the dotting tool. The hair also has like little eggs in it, but I don't think I'm gonna do all that. Oh, that's really neon, that's super neon. But um, I might keep it. Should I keep it like that? I think I like that. So let's go ahead. Just cure that. It kind of looks like a pizza with the cheese kind of flying off the side. Okay, so in the picture, he also has dots on his face. The color is green. 
kind of like a minty green on the little face. Oh, that's really, really big. Do some up here. Uh, I'm keeping it. I like it. I wanted this video to be much, much longer so you guys can see like every little detail that I did with that Arnold. Like Arnold really was a pain in my behind. <laughs> but um, since I'm trying to really get this video out, I kind of cut all of that out. And now I am just adding the last little finishing touches. Um, it's basically just, I want it to look like they're like falling through rocks, I guess. So that's basically what I'm drawing out with my dotting tool, basically just rocks. Um, right now they look like big blobs, but um, I'm going to add little shadows just so it can look like a rock, a little bit more like a rock. And I went on and cured it and top coated all of that off camera. And this is the finished look. Tell me what you guys feel or how you guys feel about this trippy Hey Arnold set. I think I really like the way I did the character in the middle. Arnold, I could have did better with him, but I'm super, super proud of the one in the middle. I promise you, I just want to put this in a frame somewhere and hang it up on a wall. <laughs> But thank you so much if you watched this far. Make sure you check out the links down in the description down below. And thanks again to Beatles for sponsoring this video. Make sure you use my code on Amazon for 10% off of your order. And I will see you guys in my very next video.